if there's something in here you need to best thing you can do is take us wherever it's at point it out and help yourself out okay is there anything in here there's three joints up the It was the era of the mob control of numerous of the casinos out here. The mob owned many of the hotels with the hidden ownership and the skimming. A lot of agents worked very hard with, with Metro and cleaned up the hidden ownership of these casinos. And now, 17 years later, I find myself working for a casino that is neither mob owned or controlled. The Gold Coast. Almost all the employees and almost all the customers that come here are here for one reason, to have a good time. We have very few problems here, uh, but this is an industry with a lot of cash, and there are some people, it's rare, but people come here and try to take advantage of us. So we have a fairly elaborate surveillance system and camera system, which we use to protect ourselves and our customers. Here we are upstairs in what historically has been known as the eye in the sky. It goes completely around the main pit here at the Gold Coast. It is also at our, at our new pit on the addition. And you can see that it's a long corridor called, and what we stand on is what historically, when you hear people talk about the catwalk, and that's where our, our surveillance people used to stand. They had binoculars, telephones, and they were able to zero in on activity in the pit at the various games. Uh, if they saw something themselves, they could call the pit. We had telephones up here. Uh, if the guys in the pit saw something they didn't like, they were able to call up. But like everything else, technology catches up with us, and we no longer use this catwalk, except on very, very rare occasions. But for the most part, we went to uh, a far more sophisticated way of doing it, which now allows our people to uh, watch much more of the casino at the same time uh, through videotape. We're inside our surveillance room now, and as you can see, we're basically, uh, the camera that, that we're looking at now was in the same place on the catwalk that we're standing, that we were standing. And you can see how they can go straight into the game. They can count the chips on the racks. The red chips are $5 chips, the green ones are 25. And you can, if you come back just a little bit, you can see the hands and then you could focus in on an individual hand, you can fo focus in on the chip, the amount of the bet, the player. It's just, uh, it's remarkable uh, what these cameras can do. And uh, you can see that uh, they're excellent, they give us excellent pictures, uh, which is how uh, anybody that's ever tried to rob a casino in Las Vegas has been unsuccessful. Hey, one of the most common uh, thefts occurred are pitching and uh, cappers. Pitching would uh, be removing a, p a portion of the player's bet, his bet, so he wouldn't lose that much. His, uh, his odds are not in favor of him winning at this point, so he's removing a part of a bet before the dealer gets to his spot. Um, over here we have a rail bird. Rail bird, it's a person that'll stand near a player and craps and try to distract his attention. Over here you'll see a perfect example of the player ordering a drink and not paying attention to his money. This patron here, and the jacket will wait for uh, the right time. And over here, you can see him, he's just staring right at the bet. And as soon as uh, the time's right, he's gonna go in here and grab his money. And nine out of 10 times, the subject will just take a portion of it. Okay, what we have here is an incident where a player has a good hand and he wants to increase his bet, which is an illegal act. And it's, to, it's, it's definitely to his advantage. There's the move right there. The dealer caught it. And uh, the infraction could, could lead up to a year in jail with an illegal move. And uh, cheating in Las Vegas and table games, it's a write-off, it's a felon. You're on a felon charge when you cheat at any of the table games or any of our slot machines. And you see, she tossed it back. The dealer's doing a very good job of protecting the game. Here's another incident of a capping. He's got a $25 original bet. He has a very good hand, and he'll add on it by using the card. All of a sudden, it becomes $50. You flip it over. In fact, the player's got blackjack, which he even, he even gets paid even more than his original bet. Here's an incident 
where the dealer's flashing her hit card to the players. Okay, what you're looking for is just to see the card a little bit. And she's looking at it too. She'll flash till the, to the there it goes right there. Flashing occurs. One of the oldest moves in the business. Here's a, just two weeks ago, here's an incident. The, the film is kind of blurred. This is one of our quad cameras, but you'll see a fellow here demanding the money from one of our change girls. And over here on the right-hand side, he's got uh, a small revolver in its holster. It's one of the holsters where you can fire through the revolver at the girl. And our policy here is our employees are not to resist a robbery, but try to get their best description. This girl, obviously, when somebody points a gun at you, you don't know what's going to happen, and she's reluctant to give him the money. Now he's just pulled the gun out of the, out of the holster itself, you see, and she's, he's demanding the money, and she doesn't want to give it to him. There's a struggle on the floor now, and we'll see another camera zero in, and we'll see him down here on the floor. He's still holding the gun, which was armed. There's the money down on the floor. Very dangerous situation when you have guns. Uh, they're just not successful here, because our, it's inside. We have the cameras. This fellow's still struggling. Uh, the amazing thing about this is uh, this gentleman turned out to be a retired police officer from back east, from a state that if you're convicted of a felony, you lose your pension. We're really proud here in Las Vegas of the security people to work in these casinos. They're all trained. They all do their job well. And, and uh, they never know what they're going to run into from day to day here. They work with Metro very well. And what he's doing with him now, they're taking him around the back of the building to where we have a place where we detain uh, people that need detaining. And we just call Metro, and uh, they'll come and take it from there. He's been charged and is currently in jail on, on uh, armed robbery charges. I think anyone that's ever came to Las Vegas realizes there's no place in the world you can come and spend two or three days and have more fun. But I think you will uh, realize by now that if you do come, don't try to cheat us. We're not going to cheat you, and if you try to cheat us, uh, you're going to go to jail. 911 emergency. There's someone out in front of my house shooting out a gun. Do you know who this guy is? I have no clue. Okay. He's come out here yelling. I, I think someone might be hurt because I can't tell, though. Okay. Who's that, who's that crying there in the back? I don't know. It's just they're just scared. I need someone to come here quick. No, I'm going to shot again. Okay, I understand, sir. Okay, we're going to get someone there. Just stay on the phone with me, okay? 12581 to arrive the area. Well, we got a call of a subject that pulled up in a dark truck in front of a house and has been shooting a gun. And we're just around the corner. Frank, I'll call. That's right. AC 65. Okay, we got some people up here. Control door 23. 23. Arrived at two other no mileage, and I'll be clear. What's going on out here? My, um, my daughter and a bunch of her friends were coming over here to get her medicine. Is that person with the gun still here? chasing her. Yeah. Original, they still here? No, originally somebody was chasing them with a gun. Somebody. It's clear. Who was shooting the gun? Nobody shot a gun. No, not to my knowledge. I live down at the end of the street, and I'm sitting in the living room. Let's go over here real quick, and then we'll okay. get this sorted out. I hear people screaming for help. And I grabbed my pistol out of the drawer. Oh, by the way, I cleared it here. OK. Stay right there. OK, I want you to go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Put them together like you're praying. Put them together like you're praying. OK, spread your legs. Spread them a little more. You don't have another one or anything like that? OK, go ahead. I'm listening. I came out the door and saw a big group of people. I started walking that way. They started screaming and hollering. Who was? The That's group the of prop. people that were out here? Do you the know who they were? group of people, apparently they were kids. That's what we found out now. But they, apparently somebody was chasing them with a gun. And that's why they were screaming. Now how did you help. get that? 
have just the conversation here. Come here, guys. Are you getting any info? They're just not, they know when, uh, this is my come daughter, Danielle. Come here, come here, I need to talk to you guys. She's, she can tell you the name of the kid. Okay, and one's name is Greg. Happened. We were just coming down the street. What? And this is Greg, okay. We were coming down the street, and I guess we were messing with him. He was like, get out of the road. We were like, you get out of the road. Just messing around, you know. And then they tried to kill, they were, uh, they had a gun. The they were going to kill him. <laughs> they threw him against the wall. And he, he's like, come on, Josh, like that. And then all of a sudden, that guy was there. He came out, he goes, freeze like that. And I didn't know who he was. And he put and a gun he this guy did. He can't do that. Because he heard you all yelling that you had a, uh, somebody had a gun, right? Yeah, and we were scared. They told us to go away. And then they got you know, in. You know and these kids? Yeah, one of them rides my bus. And where do they live? Do you know that? <laughs> I thought he lived in the apartments, but the, I know the house that he's always at. I know. Did, did, they, did they actually shoot the gun? Hey. No, he needs to go get these girls. She's scared. Look at the belt. Did you tell the kids in these Okay. Did he point the gun at you or did he actually shoot? Did he shoot? No, but he was Just about he was going to shoot up in the air. He was going to shoot us. Okay. What? He never actually <laughs> shot. No. A little bit. And give him. He needs. I can't. It's okay. Go ahead and get the descriptions and stuff. So. Okay. <laughs> Sir. Obviously, you had a problem with one of the kids. I was in the house with my wife watching TV with the kids. And you're and down by the corner? Right off uh, Okay. Okay. And I hear all this yelling and screaming come down the street. Did you hear what they were saying or yelling and yes. screaming about? Yes. They were uh, talking about Ray's daughter. Okay. You, that bitch, you, and this and that, don't uh -huh. tell us what to do and this and that and all that. And I'm like, these are little teenage kids. Was it these kids or was it some yeah, other yes, kids? Yes, it was, it was these kids. Okay, and that little girl in the striped shirt turns around and looks at me and says, what are you staring at, you And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. I don't take lip off little kids. I work uh -huh. for the county and I do, you know, I work with kids all the time and I don't take lip off. So Ray and uh, Gary are following these kids down the street saying, you know, you got a problem, come back and let's talk about it. You know, they, I heard not one word about a gun and this and that. Right. All they're doing is they're turning around and they're cussing them out because they came up and his grandchildren. And who's Gary? Gary's the guy down here, the guy that had the gun. That's where that's the first time I heard anything about a gun. They turned around here, and Gary said, you all need to stop right here because I do have a gun. That's all he said. And then they're all freaking out. Somebody's chasing us with a gun and pointing us in the head with a gun. I never heard a word one about a gun before that. You have a voluntary get him started on one because now we're getting a whole different story. I'm not lying to you, I promise. <laughs> Did you find any shell casings? None. They're very cooperative. Let us check the car, check the room. I'm sorry, What's I'm their not story? Lying to you. They they haven't been up. Sir. How many gun classes have you taken? Several. Several. And which class did they tell you to go out and confront a bunch of uh, teenage or juvenile out in the middle of the street with a gun? Nobody told me to go confront anyone with a gun. Okay. To me, what it sounded like is you got a bunch of smart mouth kids that live in the neighborhood. You're probably tired of their crap. I can understand that part. It still doesn't I, doesn't honestly, justify. It. Okay, well, but whatever the problem nice is, you know that there was a problem and there were some kids with running their mouths. It wasn't appropriate. They were wrong. Hopefully, their parents are going to deal with that. I would just say next time, use your head a little bit. Keep the gun put away, unless there's actually a life-threatening situation, and this was not it. Okay, great. As it turns out, it doesn't look like we've really had a crime happen here other than maybe some really rude kids that had some problems with their neighbors in the neighborhood and they bit off a little bit more than they could chew. We've dealt with that, we've dealt with the kids and hopefully that'll be the end of it for tonight. Been with Metro for about a year and a half now. Came from a smaller department in Durango, Colorado. Come here to work in the big city. A lot more stuff out here to do and it's a lot of fun. The thing I like about it most is uh, the teamwork out here. You work with a bunch of real good guys. Uh, to me, that's uh, a big part of the job, if you can get along with the people you work with and stuff, and we can come out here and have a good time. That's what I like about it most. We're uh, en route to a domestic now. So between two people is all we have. Unknown what's, uh, what's happening, they called 911 and nothing was said. Should be just right up here somewhere. So we've got another unit in the area already. You get several of these calls a night. We're here. 
Anybody in back there, please? Okay. Okay. Sir, just talk to me. What do you want us to do? I don't know. Wait. I want to call somebody for something, okay? I have a right. That's my right. I come in. Who is that? And he started. Johnny. Somebody. Okay. So I told him I can't call the police. Take I'm going to go to social service oh, if he wants he help. Doing I can't I live with the man. Okay. Trouble! She's trouble? Yes. She what does she do? I'm not trouble. Every damn thing you can think of. Okay. I'm going on 80 years old. I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a, I'm, in a, I'm a cripple. We've been married 20 years. I don't care. Right. Yeah, we've been married eight, and, and uh, the last 20, month, 18 years. This is coming mm -hmm. out. All right. What are we going to do to solve the problem tonight? The problem is that she has a big damn mouth. I, I haven't heard a word that oh. she said since I've been in here. Only you. Only you, Bernard. It's true. Come on, boy. You, you've been around a little bit, haven't you? No, a little bit. I have to. So I'm not a troublemaker. Okay. And you go into the room tonight, just hang out in the room tonight, he so he'll not, calm down. Please, he's, he's making it. Hey Bernard, she's I willing to go halfway, okay? What, she I wants to go into the room, look, so quit being what. so stubborn and let's Look, please, I am not gonna take that. I don't realize what's gonna happen sooner or later. She could, when I turn my head, she can hit me on the head. Now that's when I turn my head, I she can do it. Look, I think she probably would have done that already if she was going to do that. He's a sick OK, okay. do me a favor. But just I know. go I ahead and go ahead and take your cigarettes and everything into the room and try to hang out in there for a little while and see if we can get everything calmed down. So. OK. I ain't got nothing against nobody. Do you got somebody you can stay with tonight, Bernard? Hey, Bernard, you got somebody you can stay with tonight? Myself, I'm not going out of my own home. I pay everything here. I went the other night. Yeah. I pay everything. Can you go to a hotel in this tonight or something? And I can no. Every no. Food no. Food no. Food. Why should We're I? just uh, gonna have to. These, this is one of those situations where this is gonna happen. Oh yes, it's gonna happen. It's going. Yeah, oh yes, it's gonna happen. Right. Maybe again and again. Maybe I don't know. Sure. Well, it's all been approved. You just stay here, relax. You don't talk to her, she's not going to talk to you. Well, wait a minute. He's supposed to... He was only here five minutes ago. Well, he five, ten had minutes? Enough. He what? had it up to here. Probably, huh? He probably doesn't want to answer the phone now. What do you mean he won't answer? He's my friend. He's been my friend for years. I don't want to get involved. That's Come on, mean. don't tell me that bull****. <laughs> Stop that bull****. <laughs> you ain't kidding nobody, sister. You're not kidding anybody. Believe me, you're not. And if there's anything that happens, if anything happens, you boys are going to be in trouble. Okay, Believe Bernard, me, if anything happens, you give us a call back. Bernie, yeah. try this solution. Try this solution on, all right? You sit there and you don't say anything to her. You sit there, don't say anything to him. Problem solved, right? Please, I don't... There's a solution. No. I no? Please, well, look, please, I God is my judge. I myself. I got a good dude tonight. Okay. I'll take my clothes out. I think we'll just leave you and get you alone, you guys. Mm -hmm. just, We've given you the only that solution that we can. That so. is a lot of... See you later, Bernard. Okay, Bernard. okay, I don't think this is right, and I don't think it's fair, and I'm telling you now, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to write, and I'm going to write, and I am going to have it, and I am going to have it taped, and, and if you don't think I ain't got a tape, mister, I got news for you. I get three tapes if I need tapes. I'm going on 80 years old, but if, if anything happens... Okay, Bernard. 
Okay. You we'll can, see you. You can say, you can do any. See, every time I try to call the police department, there's always someone that says something different, like the other night. He says he wants a solution. He gave him a solution, and he doesn't want to have anything to do with it, so did all we can do. It's only 12 o'clock now. They're pretty early to be fighting like this, because like I said, last time it came out about 4, and they were going at it. But what are you going to do? Couples in love. Exactly. <laughs> 911, 911, the bomb will be involved by two black guys. Okay. I can't see them. All I can see is on camera. We're looking where they're going. Two black men, both in black, or young kids, both in black hooded sweaters. And blue jeans. Did you guys see? Did they have. Oh, we ah. oh, got a robbery in progress at this gas station right here. We can get up here and see. I don't see anything at all, nothing at all. 425 control, plate in the parking lot, 49G George, 3703, and there's nobody, can't see anybody in there at all. 49G, 3703. 49G, 3703. Money's on the ground. Money's on the floor. The robbery of the person be advised. The plane is going to be two black males running westbound through Eagle Hill Drive. Two black males, black hooded sweatshirt, blue jeans. Dispatcher, hey, we're coming on lock the door. Running through Eagle Dale. How could they run the Eagle Dale Drive? Maybe you're right on there. Eagle Dale Plaza, right there. She's up there. They're not in here. They took off. There's two black men in black hooded sweatshirts. One, they both went this way. They shot a gun. Both of them are about this height. They look to be about, I'd say, 17 to 21. No, they can't. I they had a gun. They had a gun. Both of them had guns. Little white. This one on fire. The gun. They both had guns. Silver guns. They come straight. One to here. One to here. I was there. They did not see me, so I ducked and hit and ran in the back office. Possible suspects right up the street here. Four gun point here. 425's 30th and Tibbs, where's he at? Okay. I'm with him at 30th and Tibbs. Yeah, everybody go down your knees, go down your knees. Go down your knees, everybody. Okay. Lay down. Lay down, face down. Face down, face down. Everybody face down. Arms out. Arms out, face down.
Run all that. Bandana. Yep, this could be easily have put in there. Yep. Anyway, this is a fair One in the black over there. It's all in black. Yeah. You know, I mean, those, they look like them. What'd they get? Did they get money or anything? Yeah, they took money. I, I just gave them all the money out of the register and they left. And they didn't even know Paula was back there. The manager was back there. She was being quiet, making a phone call. You know, their outfits and stuff, I'm pretty sure. But I can't tell by the face, you know, because they have bandanas on them. Okay, so if you had to pick out one and say, that's him, would any, any of them? I'd have to say the two on the left. It was like that. She as soon as I pulled up, boom, she covered her eyes. Says, that's them, that's them, yeah. that's them. I do. And then there's the door pants. Yeah. yeah. And they got like five cell phones in the box. Oh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Did you hear from Jeremy ask us he was what walking. color was the blue bandit? Yeah. <laughs> we got automatic ID. ID. Yep. That's it. Oh, I turned me and uh, Wells were. This is your Michigan, catch, right? Michigan and Tremont when this came out. And we hauled ass up here. I got up here, and the guy in the gray jacket, the third one right here, was walking eastbound on 30th right here in the grass. And I turned the corner to see what was going on, and these two were sitting in the driveway. Here you are. Uh, they ran west towards Eagle Dale, and the engine on the car is warm. And he's saying they've been here all night, but the engine is warm. So they probably have been out driving around. And the car went right over there, got the car, came right here. Right. Good job, Frank. You're the man, Frank. When I came out here on the west side, <laughs> most of this was cornfields. Uh, subdiv small subdivisions. There wasn't near the population explosion as there is now. It's changed quite a bit in 30 years. We've got subdivisions. Uh, hey, we even got fast food restaurants now. When I first came out there, there was two places to eat, and one of those was in Hendricks County, the next county over. But uh, it's just, it's grown. It's amazing. We're on our way to a mother and daughter domestic. Uh, we just got a Recall back from the mother. They think the daughter's possibly on drugs or alcohol. Said she's kind of incoherent. Her speech is slurred. We're pretty close to it. We'll uh, find out when we get in there. Hi, right, guys. Okay, I think this is it. Uh oh. Beware of the dog. Hi guys. I'm gonna go get my step in a No, you're not gonna do anything right now. I'll get the ambulance check you out, okay? That way I can tell what whether you are or aren't. So you need to get yourself, if you're not on anything, get yourself under control, okay? And then I'll have to go get my stuff. What stuff? My clothes. You don't need your clothes. Where are you going? Why do you need clothes? My clothes and my deodorant, my toothbrush, I want it all. You're going to the hospital, you won't need that up there. I don't want to go nowhere. You okay, sit down. sit down right here. I right. want to get my stuff. You don't need your stuff. Calm down. Calm down. She, uh, Mom, have you seen if, anything today as far as? I took my other son and his daughter. Did you get hit in the eye? Yeah. OK. All right. She got any kind of record? No. OK, just when did all this start? Um, I've been home about 30 minutes. No, but she's been doing it in the past. Uh, I, I left at 11 o'clock today to take the kids swimming. When I come home, she's staggering all over the place, slurring, can't hardly talk, can't walk. Went to dial the phone, couldn't even push the buttons. I mean, totally was missing. I was stupid, hey, but hey, shush, shush, shush. I knew what I was doing. This, this ain't her. This yeah, is I know. not her at all. <laughs> totally opposite kid. Okay. You pissed me off. I'm moving. Danny just said I can move with him. I don't think so. Danny just said I can move with him. Who's Danny? Dad just said I can brother. move with him. I don't like nobody around here. Right. I'm gonna get my and go. No, you're gonna straighten your ass up is what you're gonna do. I'm not staying here. Well, we'll see. You'll either be here in juvenile till you're 18 years old. One no, of the two I won't. Places. 
Jordan. No, I won't. I was just like Ellie got me. We've been doing fun stuff. Who is? Who is? Ellie got me. We've been doing fun stuff. I want to move with my dad. Oh yeah, I don't blame you. At your age, I'd want to live there too. That ain't going on here. I ain't doing nothing wrong. Oh yeah, I can tell you ain't done nothing wrong. Here. There's no alcohol in the house or anything like that. No. Do we know where she's been today? It, no. I want to go get my stuff. We'll deal with that in a minute, okay? You're going to wait until the ambulance gets here, check you out, and then I'll be able to go from there on what you want. You're in you my need. arm! I swear I hate you! Good. Because I love you. That's the way that goes. But she's never done anything like this before, except smoke a little pot, according to her. Have you smoked any today? How long ago? I don't know. It's more than that. Does it, yeah. does it always make you act like this? No. You been drinking? Not as an alcoholic, right? I want to get my stuff and I want to leave. I stay there and I'm going to my dad's. That's right. Completely turned over the room in the back and all the way back up through here. Everything's just flipped over. Well, I believe that. Ain't no doubt in my mind about that. Another case of where medication, you know, that didn't belong to her, she got into mom's medication and it just whacked her out. Okay, well, we'll get her, get you out of here, mom. We'll get you down to the hospital. You need to start locking, you know, you're going to have to start locking your stuff up. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I'm but I'll tell that. you what, she's not going to have a good time when they pump her stomach. Yeah. Uh, she's not going to like that charcoal yeah. mix. Okay. Where did you get the Xanax? I'm down mine. You found them? Were they your mom's? Did you find them from her, uh, in, in the medicine, in her room? Okay. Why did, why did you take them? Because I wanted to see what they were like. Okay, see what they do to you? Well, not a real good thing, is it? No. Okay. Why didn't you come, just come out with it to begin with? Are you scared you're going to get in trouble? Or? No. I want to know what you're going to know more. Okay. So if you need to... So we don't know how many... In other words, Cindy, we don't know how many, right? What's the white ones? These are my pain pills. I was in all Okay, have you taken pills. any of the white ones? Danielle, the white ones, the big white any ones. Any white ones. Have you taken no. any white ones? You just took the blue ones? Which? the little peach ones. Little what? They're blue. She's taken three to four Xanax, according to her, and there was also some pain medication in the bottle. Mom and them come home. Uh, they went swimming, came home, and she came in. Like this, a big fight got started. She's wrecked about everything in the house. Brother, uh, I'm for his ass. Step up here. He'll probably come to the hospital. Everybody reacts differently to medication, and in this case, a prescribed pain medication just made this girl just plumb, you know, about out of her head. It's just a good classic example of kids getting into narcotics. Went to school down south of here, and I studied criminal justice, but it really wasn't anything like police work. It was mostly reading and crime studies and things like that. I don't know that I'd say I'm here to uh, solve all the, the crime in the city. Basically, it's just an entertaining job. It's different all the time. There's a lot of characters, and it's kind of amusing. Oh, control. Okay, we're on our way to uh, serve a search warrant with our narcotics uh, detectives from South District. It's up at this uh, trailer park here on the left. They're supposed to be the narcotics detectives just drove past it. The people that they're wanting to serve should be there. They said they saw them, so. We're just going to park here in the grass and walk over. It's about six trailers over. You guys ready? Here we go. Let's go.
Get out of the way. That's her. Get her right there. Get down. Somebody stay with her. Get out of the car. Put your hands behind your back. Ram, ram, ram. Are you OK? Are you OK? Are you sure? Police search warrant! Police search warrant! Police search warrant! Search warrant, get out, get out! Police search warrant! Clear, clear, clear. All right. Come on. Clear. Go. Clear. The back room, Carl? Well, yeah, back room. Yeah. See how much bags? What's your name? Billy. OK. You live here, Billy? Yes, sir. OK, I got a search warrant for your house. Okay. You need to listen up to me. Is that your baby out there in the car? That's my boyfriend's little girl. We were about to go out to eat. OK. Stay, stick with it there, buddy. OK, I got a search warrant for your house, Billy. You need to listen to this, OK? All right. This is a search warrant to the Indianapolis Police Department, whereas an affidavit has been filed with me, a copy of which is attached here to an incorporated hearing in all respects. And the court having examined said affidavit and being duly advised in the premises now finds that there is probable cause for the issuance of this warrant. OK, listen to this. You know, we might be able to work something out with this, but if there's something in here, you need to tell us about it right now, because in about 30 seconds, we're going to start searching this place. And if we find anything in here and you don't tell us about it, I'm putting it on you and you're going to jail. OK, so if there's something in here, you need to, best thing you can do is take us wherever it's at, point it out, and help yourself out. OK? Is there anything in here? There's three joints up above the... That's it. Up above where? Up above the, the thing right there. This? Yes, sir. Is that it? And there's some scales if you want to walk back here to my red room. I yeah, come on, take us back here and show us where the scales are at. I'm willing to cooperate. Well, you need to cooperate, <laughs> Billy. Is there anything inside your car? No, Who's the black guy that's listed in this warrant? Um, see. Who's that? Does he live here? That's him. That's him? Yeah. Where's the dope? Is he living here with you? Huh? Is he living here, here with you? He, he kind of stays here. He kind of stays here? OK, hey, where's the scales at back here? They're right here. Where's the dope at in here? OK, where's he'll, it at? He'll, he'll be back here just in a little bit, too. OK, where's it at? Where's the dope at? Come on, I'll show you. No, you just tell me where it's at. Okay, I don't want you to. There's a red shirt that has two zippers on it. This one here? This right here. Yeah. Crack cocaine, a little bit of cash. Well, that's quite a bit, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We'll fingerprint that. Mm -hmm. OK. Oh, my arm is there. there you go. Well, he rolls those nice, doesn't he? Pretty. Couple of bongs. This is money that came off of her. I think that that was out of the pocket, I believe. Do you ever want to get your kids back? I mean, at some point? Oh, yeah, but I mean, I've had a lot of problems and this and that and the other, so I mean, I think it's best that they stay there. I understand that, but I'm just saying, you know, if you got a good job someday, you might be able to get your kids back, but you'll never be able to get them back if you're dealing narcotics and... You say you've only done it a couple times, but it only takes once for you to I get know. convicted of it. Child Protective Services isn't going to let you take your kids <laughs> if they know that you've gone to jail and you're dealing drugs. They don't give you back to, they don't give their kids back to parents that do that. They don't give kids back to parents that do less than that, much less somebody that's dealing, because you're probably dealing to kids. So he's got kids and you're allowing that to go on here. I with told, those kids. I told him, I said. But Billy, you're not stopping it and you're participating like in I it. I know him, you he has are put because. his hands on me and I'm scared of him. Well, then why don't you pack up and move? Why I, don't you Why don't you call the police? You Does he keep you physically restrained inside the. No, it's just he scares me and stuff like that. Well, get the hell away from him. You I, know I he's am. got dope in here. What's it take? Well, yeah, you're getting That's away from I him told. because you're going to be wearing orange. Because you know what's going on and you're participating in it. You're just as guilty as he is. You're just as guilty as he is. Because you help him do it and you know what's going on and you're not putting a stop to it. You, I'll tell you what, you bought a big one this time. You bought a big one. If you keep yourself out of prison, you'll be lucky. Damn lucky. And with that prior felony conviction, you know what that means? If I'm not mistaken, that means you're non-suspendable. That means you can't get probation. That means you have to go to jail. You have to go to prison. And if you plead, I think 
and I may I may not be 100% accurate on this, but I think you're looking at a minimum of six years, minimum, minimum six years. You ready to go to jail for six no, years? No, sir, I'm not. Well, then you better you better come up with something good, because that's where you're headed. I don't know if I necessarily necessarily believe her that much. She uh, she's the one that actually made the sale, and I know that she's involved in the dope being sold out of here. Um, even though I told her that, you know, if she cooperated with us, it made the difference between dealing and possession, I don't think there's any way that I can get around a dealing charge. I mean, it's obvious that she's selling out of here. She's admitted that she's sold out of here. I'm going to charge her with the dealing, and uh, we'll take it from there. But I appreciate you coming out and helping us. No problem. Uh, we're going to a call of a uh, male armed with a gun in one of our apartment complexes. He stated he was on drugs, wasn't afraid of the police, that he used a gun in an armed robbery of a bank uh, back in March. We got several units going, we're in the area, and we're going to stand by, get together, and that way we got plenty of backup. Six, Lane Loner, 97 also. Coming from a 1042 across from the residence. The CFS 066. There is a utility right there. Got him. Uh, you know where we're walking in on foot. Four, sir. Hey, hold up a minute, man. There you go. Hands up. Hands up! Get them both up! On the ground! On the ground! Get on the ground! Now! Don't rush in, don't rush in. Hands out! Hands out! Cross your feet! Do it now! Yes, sir. Put your face on the ground, look away! Look away! Look to your left! Sir, what, what are you arresting me for? You're being detained. What are you guys arresting me for? Secured? Gun right. Is that a gun right there, Nance? 1012 uh, secured. Yes, sir, I, I have a gun. I was just going back to my place. Where's your gun? It's, it's in my shoulder holster right here, sir. Shoulder holster. Yeah. All right. All conti right, continue searching him real quick. Loaded. Yes, sir. Chamber. Oh, one in the chamber? Yep. All right. We have two mags also, empty. Sir, what is this about? Nice. Sir. I was just going back. Well, right now you're carrying a gun. We'll talk to you in just a minute. Uh, left uh, pants pocket? Yep. Yes, sir, I, I, have a, I have a marijuana pipe. Yeah, we know that. We just found it. Yes, sir. Scroll back on your face. And we got two news articles in here about bank robbers that happened in Fort Myers area. <laughs> Reference to Robin and Son Trust Bank and Daniels. What's your day, Bruce? Two news articles about the bank robbers. He had a loaded Glock, a uh, shoulder holster, one in the chamber, two empty mags, pipe, a couple flashlights, match the description, carrying a radio. I'll go up and talk to the complaint, and, and uh, we'll come back and figure out what exactly we got. Can, can you guys get my, my stairs? Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll get all your property in just a minute, man. Hey. I'm, I'm sorry you guys for any trouble I caused. OK. Sit at an angle, all right? Don't sit on your hands. It hurts. Yes, sir. Hey. You guys are called? Yes, yeah. sir. All right. Tell me basically what happened. Um, me and him were taking out the trash, and out of nowhere comes this dude. Uh, like out of the darkness, and he's like, "Hey man, what's up?" He had a beer. He had a beer in his hand. He's like, "Hey man, what's up? You guys want to party?" Blah blah blah. And I'm like, "Ah oh, no, you know I got a kid at the house, chilling. I'm just checking the mail." He's like, "Oh yeah, yeah." Well, uh, we sat down, and he's like, "Oh man, I'm, I've been doing coke, smoke. I smoked out with all these dudes." And he's like, "Now I'm just chilling, about to go get another 12 pack." And he's like, "You guys want to see my gun?" Just like that. I don't even know him. And I was like, "Are you kidding me?" 
So this fool pulls out a gun out of his holster. And he's like, yeah. Where was, where was the holster at? Uh, right here. The shoulder holster? Yes, sir. OK. And he's like, uh, he's like, yeah, it's a 9 millimeter or something. And so I was like, wow. And uh, he's like, yeah, I robbed a bank. Just like that. Dude. He just told you that. Just like that. And, and you know, being geeked up the way he was and, and stoned, I don't think he was lying. Right. He was just, he's so proud of himself. And he said, yeah, they wrote an article on me and everything. He's like, I put a fake tag on my car. And I went in there, and I had a ski mask, and I walked in. I had just gotten my gun. And I pointed it at him, and I told him I wanted all the money. And they started to give me ones, and then they started shoving 50s and 100s in my book bag. And I was like, wow, so how much did you get? He's like, 3,500. And I was like, really? Where do you live? And he's like, <laughs> I live in building one. I came straight here, and it's all here, and blah, 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 this, that, and the other. All right. And then we'll, we'll just have you hang tight until the detective gets here, and we'll, we'll get right. a quick statement from you. Right, sounds good. Appreciate it. Steven, yes, do you sir. have a concealed weapons permit? No, sir. No? No, sir. OK. You ever been arrested before in the past for anything? Yes, sir. For what? Oh, possession of burglary tools. How long ago was that? That was about five, six years ago, sir. Five or six years ago? How old are you now? 21. 21, so you're a juvenile when that happened? Yes, sir. Okay. I just got the gun today, sir. I, I practiced firing it, Fowler Firearms. The only time I ever took it out was to the to the pool, and I was under the impression that you know, you could take it, you could take it to your car, you could take it around your, your house and stuff. Okay. You have you been doing any drugs or anything today? Oh. Uh, Be honest now. What would you do? I, I, I smoked a little bit, sir. Smoked a bit of what? Marijuana or crack? Uh, marijuana, sir. Marijuana. All right. Right now you're going to jail for carrying concealed firearm. Okay. Possession of marijuana paraphernalia, drug paraphernalia. Yes, sir. All right. And we'll get you down the holding cell here shortly, and we'll come in and see if you want to have a talk. All right? Yes, sir. All right, hang tight. He had this gun. There was a round in the chamber. It's concealed. It was concealed. He doesn't have a concealed weapons permit. We, we uh, verified that. So right now, right now he's going to go to jail for uh, the gun and the paraphernalia. Uh, we'll get with the county and uh, turn it over to the detectives, and they can try to link him up to the robbery. We're uh, arriving on a call of a suspicious vehicle, possibly a drunk driver. The citizen was following the vehicle, and uh, the, evidently the driver got nervous and jumped out and bailed from the car after crashing. So uh, we're about to arrive right here right now and uh, see if we can't locate this guy. The guy was following him for quite a ways uh, on the phone with dispatch. Take over here. Basically, uh, the person reporting said that he kept hitting curbs and swiping side to side on the road. And you can see there some damage to the vehicle from where he hit a curb or something. And uh, he actually made contact with the house here. We got the air unit here. We think he's hiding in one of these backyards. Ah. He was last seen jumping over this wall, so we're gonna. There's a hundred places he could be hiding back here. Any of the yard? Well, if he's got clear 34, there, go ahead. The left right there. There'll be a yellow car in the driveway and a silver pickup truck parked out in front. It's a uh, trailer that I'm looking at. It's in my life there. That's affirmative. The air unit thinks he might be hiding underneath this trailer here, so let's see if we can't find this guy. Metro Police, show me your hands. How you doing? Patrol 1 George 34, code red. Hey, I see you laying in it. If you do not extend your hands out and crawl out, I'm going to release the dog on you. Patrol 1 George 34, I got one at gunpoint. Met He's not responding to voice commands. The address Arian had just gave, 53. Hey, sound off or you're going to get the dog released on you. Crawl out. Now or you're going to get tased. Come out, hands. Stay on your face. Stay on your face. Keep crawling. Keep crawling. 
crawling out. Keep crawling out. Keep coming. Stop right there. Put your hands out to your sides. Cross your feet. Pull your feet up to your butt. Hands behind your back. Palms flat together. Any weapons on you? Any knives? Any needles? Roll over to your side. Come on up. Use yourself. Bounce, use your knee. Bounce yourself. Come up. Come on. Well, we, we weren't even sure. It's 20 minute time lapse. Can you please let my wife pick up my car? My your car is going. No, your car ain't going nowhere. You crash into a house. Come on out here to the patrol car. One George 34, code four, lift the red. I crashed into a car. A house? Yeah, you actually crashed into the house. Can you let her pick up my bank card, please? Where's your bank card at? I have it in my pocket, obviously. How much you had to drink tonight? A lot. A lot? Yeah. Please, let her pick up my bank card, please. Hey, dude, I open up that gate. And I and I ducked down. I'm sorry, sorry. I ducked down and uh, with the light on my gun, looked down. He's all cr crowded under there. Just under the trailer. You ever been arrested before? I have an extensive criminal record. Okay, yeah. Well, just give me the most serious then. The felonies. Kidnapping. Kidnapping. Yeah. Is the most serious thing you've been arrested yeah. for? Any, any uh, stolen vehicles? Anything like that? No, no. Okay. You have any warrants for your arrest right now? Yes. Okay. Where you got warrants for? For driving on the um, DUI and um, driving without a license. How much have you had to drink tonight? Like about at least an 18 pack. An 18 pack? Yes. Sir. Okay. Wow. DUI. Okay. So did you? How come you ran? Did you run because you have you had warrants, or did you run because you're drunk? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Yes, okay. Sir. All right. Well, you know you could have hurt somebody. You crashed into the house. You know if. I, how bad did it crash into? Uh, it could have been worse. You actually, you did some damage to the, your car's actually into the garage. It's in the garage? It, well, not in it, but it's, it, you crashed into the garage. You actually made contact with the garage. Yes, so you didn't stop all the way, okay? You drove in a, a complete stranger's driveway. And then you're running in the backyard and the one neighbor almost shot you, okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the neighbor yells at you, hey, you know, you know shoot him. To, you know, his wife's yelling, shoot him. All right, because he's got some guy running in his backyard. Yes, you know, so uh, it could have been a lot worse. Right now, right now you're being charged with, uh, you know, DUI and, and misdemeanor hit and run. Okay, no, neither one of those are felonies. Did I hit somebody? Sir? Well, the, you hit the you hit the house. Besides, did I hit any hurt people? No, you didn't hit any, you didn't hurt any people, but you hit the house. You could have hurt some people. Is what I'm trying to tell you. And when I shine a light on you, why why aren't you listening to me? Why didn't you respond to my commands? I was falling asleep, officer. Too. You were falling asleep? Yeah, I was uh, drunk. Man. Underneath the trailer. Yes, so you're sir. saying so you're saying you didn't hear me? I was falling asleep, officer. Because I almost released the dog on you, and if I'd have released the dog on you, it tore you up. I know, I know. And once the dog goes into that trailer and gets you, I know, you, I know. Officer. All right. Okay. What else you've been arrested for? DUI, you yeah. said. Yeah, I have a warrant. I have, okay. I have a warrant. All right. Any other felonies no. other than the kidnapping? No, okay. Was that with your uh, your wife and and the kid? Is that what the kidnapping yeah. involved? Yeah. Okay. Is no, the, no, 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 no. Not with my wife and kid or nothing. No, no, nothing like that. Something different. No. Yeah. Girlfriend or something? Drug dealer. Draw oh, a drug dealer. You kidnapped yeah. a drug dealer? Yeah. Oh. Wow. I gotta honestly tell you, that's the first time I've heard that. I don't know a lot of people have been in jail for kidnapping a drug dealer. But uh, I've thought I've heard it all. All right. Good afternoon. We're uh, we're gonna run a reverse up. We're gonna set up, and as they roll up, flag them down to sell them some dope, tick off some of the buyers. Undercovers will be outside the van. Takedown team will be inside the van. When they hear the takedown signal, takedown units in the van will come out and surround the vehicle. It should still be there on the street. What's your takedown word? Done deal, and the handoff will also be the visual. This should be real simple. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. We start the operation at 3.30. 14, These things do make a difference because uh, we publicize them heavily. We'd like to keep these uh, people coming in buying drugs out of here so at least the kids will be safe and they don't have to deal with this on a daily basis. Heads up. Door, single male driver. Oh, there it is. 
You just asking for some rock? No, I'm gonna do you right. You got it. And there's the exchange. Come on. Come on, I don't want that. Here. Too little, man. Tell you what. Man, that big old fat thing. I, I can give hey. you a big fat thing. I don't want that. Check it out. I got some big one. Nah, I'll go somewhere else. Fall right here, baby. And there he goes. He had it in his hand, guys. He had it in his hand. He had it in his hand. Stop! Stop like that! Come on, come on, come on. Let it run, let it run, let it run. Easy, easy, guys. Easy, easy. Any other narcotics on? No, uh, not at all. Put your money back. Has he got the rock still on him? No, I didn't get that, sir. No. One's in the back seat. My white shoes. Okay. He gave it back? You got his cash? You got his money? He gave the cash. He's back. Okay. What's your name, partner? Chris. Okay, Chris. What's your last name? All right, Chris, you know why we're here, right? I guess, yeah, yeah. You're well, all you, doing you were doing Yeah, but I didn't buy anything. Because was, you were trying to. I was checking it out, but I was more or less, I wasn't buying anything. Oh, well, didn't give me no money. Well, I didn't give tried to hand money. him a 20, right? No, sir. You didn't try to hand him any money? No, I didn't try to hand him any money at all. I had the money in my hand, but I was not going to hand it to him. But you know why we're here, then, right? I know why you're here. OK. We'll be with you in just a second, right. man. He wanted four for 50, so I, uh, I negotiated for him for 50. Okay. But he said they was too small. When I put them in his hand, he said it was too small. Okay. So at the same time, when he gave me the money, he snatched it back. He said, no, I don't want it. These are too small. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Okay. All, right. Uh, all right. We'll get a statement from you in just a bit. OK. On to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, man? What you got? What you need? Looks like they're exchanging. We're doing the deal now. All right. Yeah, baby, that's fat. Go, go. Get out of the truck! Get out of the truck! Get out of the truck! Turn the car off. Turn the car off. Turn it off! Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Okay, 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 okay. Slowly. Okay, okay, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. When you come out, go right down to the ground. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Down to the ground, down to the ground. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Okay. Turn it off. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm Do you have any weapons on you, sir? No, sir. Any narcotics on no, you? No, sir. Nothing gonna hurt us, Pocus? No, sir. Nothing. All right. One, two. Up, slow. Okay, wait. Three. Okay, I'm up. He looks like he crushed it. All right, guys. Okay. Watch it. We got it. Huh? Where's the man going? Yeah, I got it. OK. Uh, you know why we're here? Yes, sir. OK, you understand what's going on here? Yes, sir. All right, you know you're going to jail? Yes, sir. For purchasing cocaine, right? Yes, sir. All right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have shouldn't, but I just had a bad day, and I don't know what the I'm doing here, man. I'm really sorry. You coming home from work or something? No, sir. No, OK. All right, you throw this down on the ground when they caught you? I don't, I don't know. Sir. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is what he put it in, Bubba? Yeah, yeah put it in the Marlboro pack. Okay. Yeah. I want them to take this into evidence. Good job, guys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, man. Hey, that's two down, many more to go. Show us the status of Ruth Cooper. So after Come dark on. here, uh, makes it a little bit more dangerous for us, but uh, it gets pretty busy out here after dark, so see if we can't pick up a few more buyers. My right, driver's getting out. Give me a 20 right now. Here you go. Both of them right there. 20? Yep. All right. Okay, I'm by the car, guys. Take down, take down. Get out of here! Dog in the car. Canine in the back seat. Hands where we can see him. Hands where we can see him. Passengers in the car. There's a dog in the car. Hands right here. What's your name, man? Joey. What are you doing here, Joey? Being stupid. <laughs> Being stupid? Where are you coming from? San Carlos. You live around here? No, sir. You live down in San Carlos? Yes, sir. OK. What'd you get from We got two? I want to stand too. All right, you understand you're arrested for buying crack, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Did your girlfriend do crack too? I don't know, sir. You don't know? Do you know why you're here? No, I just I borrowed her car. You borrowed her car. Yeah. Okay. How long you been? How long you known her? For a long time. And you don't know if she does crack or not with you? No. Come on. I don't know. You don't know. No. 
All right, okay, get in the car. How long you known? Uh... For about three years. Okay. Do you know what he was coming here up here to do? No, I'm not exactly. I just said, "Will you go for a ride with me?" I said, "Okay." <laughs> okay, you've known him for three years. You know he do, does crack. Um, he told me he stopped. Uh, so I didn't even know that he was doing it. Okay. I haven't even seen him in a few weeks anyway, so... You haven't? You just came Tonight's out... Tonight's the first night I Just came out to take weeks. a ride and... Yep. And buy some crack. I wasn't buying it. Okay. <laughs> Wait right there for me. Who's... Is this your car? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She didn't try and do any of the deal with you at all? No. Okay. I even put it right in her face to see if she would... She would go with it too, but she didn't. It, okay, she, no, but him. all of it was with him through the all window. All of it was him through the window. Yeah. She okay. Would, she wouldn't go with none of it. How much money did he give you? Twenty. Twenty dollars. Great job tonight. Take down, guys. Fantastic job. Everybody's safe. Nobody's hurt. So really appreciate it. We're gonna be back out again tomorrow and see if we can't pick up a few more.